Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Ro. In today's tutorial, let's dive into Unreal Engine 5, specifically focusing on the Ascent Combat Framework plugin, also known as ACF. One of the most exciting modules in ACF is the ARS, which stands for Advanced RPG System, and this handles all the RPG aspects of your game. If you're new to game development or just looking to expand your skills in Unreal Engine, you're in the right place. ARS can seem daunting at first, but don't worry, I'm here to guide you step by step of the guide in the wiki and through setting it up and getting it to work with your game. So if you take a look at the ACF wiki, this is a this is section two. This tutorial will cover section two of it. So let's start off by understanding ARS components. So ARS is a powerful tool that will save you thousands, hundreds or thousands of hours that handles the RPG elements of your game. And it's crucial to understand its core components before diving into the setup. First, we have primary attributes. These are fundamental characteristics of your characters such as strength, endurance, and constitution. Primary attributes are the building blocks that automatically generate your other stats, making them essential for character development. Then we have attributes. These are stats like attack damage, defense, crit chance. Each attribute has a specific value used in calculations during gameplay. So for example, a higher attack damage means your character will deal more, could be physical damage in this case. And pretty much this will play a major role in balancing, right? You don't want to be too overpowered killing monsters or whatever your own level. Lastly, we have statistics. And this would be health, stamina, mana. And statistics are characterized by a max value, a current value, and a regen value or regeneration value. They represent the dynamic aspects of your character's conditions, such as how much health they have, how much mana they have, or how quickly their stamina regens, etc. Understanding these three types of stats is crucial as they form the foundation of RPG mechanics in your game. And with ARS, you can create a very complex and engaging character progression system that'll help keep your player base hooked. All right, so let's set up Let's move on to setting up the plugin for our advanced RPG system. And this process involves creating and configuring an attribute set, which is a crucial step in getting ARS to work in your Unreal Engine project. So first, we need to create a data table. And the data table will hold our attribute set, which defines all the stats of our characters. So right click anywhere on your content browser. I suggest putting this in its own folder just so it's a bit more organized and then hover over miscellaneous and then you'll see select data table from the menu choose gameplay tag table row as the struct type for the data table and you can also see that if you're using the sample template this is already created for you so you can either create one from scratch for your own game or you can just go ahead and use the one from the sample template and edit that one so once you've created the data table, it's time to define the gameplay tags that identify your attribute set. And these tags are written in a specific format like this, like rpg.statistic.health. In this example, rpg is the global tag root, statistic identifies the stat type, and health is the actual statistic. You'll use this format to set up all your stats in the data table. Now we need to make these gameplay tags effective by adding them to our gameplay tag settings. So what you'll do is on the top left, you'll see edit and then scroll down or go down to project settings and hit gameplay tags. And then add the data table to the gameplay tag table list. With that done, your gameplay tags are now active and we can move on to the actual stat configuration. But remember, you can't add gameplay tags at runtime, so make sure to set them up correctly before running your game. Now let's set up the attribute set for our ARS system. This step is crucial for defining how our stats will behave in-game. First, let's make sure our gameplay tags are set up correctly. If you follow the steps in the previous part, you should have your tags defined in a data table and added to the gameplay tag settings. Now let's configure the attribute set. Open your project settings and locate the Ascent RPG settings. Here you need to specify the tag roots for your attribute set. For example, if you have a 
if you have a statistic like rpg.statistic.health, the root for your statistic tags would be rpg.statistic. This setup is essential because it allows the plugin to ensure that you're using the correct tags when calling the methods or configuring your characters. It's a safeguard against any mistakes and helps keep your game running smoothly. The advanced RPG system allows you to control all aspects of your character's attribute set by setting attributes and a set of generation rules. These rules are used to automatically generate all the statistics and attributes for your characters, making it easier to manage complex RPG mechanics. So now let's define the generation rules. To set up generation rules, you'll need to create a data asset of the type ARS Generation Rules Data Asset. Right click in the content browser and go to Miscellaneous Data Asset. Select ARS Generation Rule Data Set from the list. This data set will hold the rules for generating your stats. The key component here is the use of UCurve Float object. These curves define how your primary attribute influences your attributes and statistics. So right click anywhere in the content browser and go to miscellaneous and hit curve. Choose curve float to create a new curve. For example, you might set up a curve where the primary attribute strength influences the attribute melee damage. As the strength of your character increases, the curve dictates how much their melee damage increases. So it's important to note that every primary attribute can modify multiple statistics or regular attributes. And each statistic and attribute can be influenced by multiple primary attributes. The actual value of a statistic or attribute will be the sum of all these influences. Once you defined your generation rules and set up your curves, you'll need to add your data asset to the project settings or Project Settings Ascent RPG System. So the ARS statistics component is what ties everything together, allowing you to implement ARS functionality in your game. Here's how to add and configure it. Open the blueprint for your character, add the ARS statistics component to the components list. Once you've added the component, there are several key settings to configure. So first, Statistics Consumption Multiplier. The multiplier is applied whenever you modify the current value of a statistic. So for example, if your character's inventory is full, you might increase stamina consumption for every action by setting it to the multiplier of 1.5. Stats load method. So this setting defines how your statistics and attributes are generated. You can choose from several options such as generating from default attributes or loading by level from curves. Default attribute set. If you select no generation or generate from default values as your load method, this set is used. In the latter case, your attributes will be used to generate your statistics following the rules you've set in the ARS setting. Can region statistics. These settings determine whether the statistics of your character can regenerate. You might turn off regeneration for certain characters for, for performance optimization and regeneration time interval. Since ARS component doesn't tick for performance reasons, this value defines the time interval for regeneration. You can set higher values for better optimization. So to start working with ARS, remember to call the initialize attribute set function. Remember to call the initialize attribute set function in your begin play event. Note that in ACF, this is done automatically, so you don't need to worry about it. So now let's move on to attribute modifiers. So attribute modifiers come in two types, additive and percentage. Additive modifiers simply add a value to the current value of an attribute, while percentage modifiers apply a percentage increase or decrease to an attribute's current value. So for additive modifier, suppose you want to increase your character's max stamina by 20, stamina regen by 5, and range damage by 75, you can add these modifiers to your character's attribute set, and they'll directly add these values to the respective attributes. Percentage modifiers, if you want to increase an attribute by a percentage, you can use percentage mo modifiers. So for example, a 20% modifier would increase the current value of an attribute by 20%. Modifiers can be added and removed at runtime, allowing you to create dynamic gameplay where your character's stats based on equipment, buffs, debuffs, or other game mechanics. It's important to note that modifiers are always handled server-side. 
to ensure consistency and fairness in multiplayer games. Additionally, you can use timed modifiers that automatically expire after a certain duration, adding another layer of strategy to your game. ARS includes a built-in leveling system that you can configure to suit your game's needs. Here's how to set it up. So the EXP for next level curve determines the amount of experience needed for each level up. You will need to create a U-curve float where the X-axis represents the character's level and the Y-axis represents the amount of experience required to reach the next level. Now, leveling type. They, so ARS allows you to choose between different leveling types. You can opt for a curve-based leveling system where character stats are automatically updated based on their level and the curves you defined, or you can use a perk-based leveling system where characters receive perks upon leveling up that can be used to enhance their attributes. So for perk-based leveling system, you will need to manually assign perks to attributes and regenerate the attribute set of the character whenever they level up. And for curve-based leveling, you will need to set up curves that define how attributes change with each level. These curves are used to automatically update the character stats upon leveling. And the character level is just a simple integer value that represents the current level of a character. It's used in conjunction with the EXP for next level curve to determine when the character levels up. And that pretty much wraps up our advanced RPG system in Unreal Engine 5 using the Ascent Combat Framework plugin. Hope this tutorial has been helpful and gives you a solid foundation. I'll uh, try to cover some of the other sections in, um, in Ascent Combat Framework. And this is just section two, so stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Code with Row, and happy coding.